Exercise 2. Listen and read. Who made the shoes every night? The elves and the shoemaker. Once upon a time, a kind and honest shoemaker lived in town with his wife. They were very poor, but they were happy. The shoemaker worked hard, but he had no money. One night, the shoemaker was in his workshop. Oh dear, I've only got enough leather for one more pair of shoes, but I'm too tired to make them tonight. I'll cut the leather now and make the shoes in the morning. The shoemaker cut out the leather and went to bed. The following morning, the shoemaker couldn't believe his eyes. He called to his wife to come quickly to the workshop. Look at these shoes," said the shoemaker. There on his table was an amazing pair of shoes. They are beautiful. Did you make them? His wife looked surprised. "No, my dear. I didn't make them," he said. Then a man walked into the shop. "I have never seen such amazing shoes." He said, "Can I try them?" He tried on the shoes. "They're perfect," he said, and paid the shoemaker. "Quickly," said the shoemaker's wife. "Go and buy some more leather." The shoemaker went to buy some more leather. When he arrived home, the shoemaker's wife had made him a delicious meal. I will just cut out the leather, and then come and eat. The shoemaker cut out the leather for two pairs of shoes, and left the workshop for the night. The following morning, the shoemaker and his wife were amazed to see two beautiful pairs of shoes in the workshop. We must find out who is making these shoes," said the shoemaker's wife. Let's hide tonight, and see who is helping us. That night, the shoemaker cut out the leather, and then hid. They were very surprised to see two little elves. The elves started to make the shoes. Soon, they had made two more pairs of beautiful shoes. We must thank the elves," said the shoemaker's wife. Let's make them new clothes. The next night, the elves found their new clothes. They were so happy that they danced around the workshop before sitting down to make more shoes. Soon, people came from all over the land to buy the shoemaker's shoes. He and his wife weren't ever poor again, and they lived happily. Ever after. Now we have listened to the story. Taib, did you enjoy it? You have read the story. Did you like it? Yes, yes, yes. What's the answer of the question? Who made the shoes every night? Ya tara, the shoemaker, well, his wife, well, very good, the elves. So the elves made the shoes every night. Well done, my. Dear students, let's move to the next page. Come with me. Look at exercise three. مطلوب مننا يا grade five إن إحنا نعمل حاجة. You will read again. يبقى إحنا قرينا the story for the first time while listening. وحنعمل reading تاني. بس المرة دي you will look at the words in bold in the text. هنركز تاني على the adjectives. اللي مكتوبة بالبول and you will find هتدور على تلات حاجات a word that describes the showmaker describes يعني بتوصف عايز a word that describes the showmaker two a word that describes the shoes وتالت حاجة a word that describes the showmaker's meal read I will be waiting for you and for your answers in order to check them after you read you 
you have read and answered the three exercises. تعالوا مع بعض نراجع على answers بتاعتنا. مين هي only a word that describes the showmaker? Then I have words كتير. أول حاجة kind, bravo, honest, excellent, poor, happy. طب في حاجة كمان very good, tired. تعالوا نشوف number two a word that describes the shoes. قالوا على الشوز ايه؟ beautiful ممتازين طب في حاجه كمان؟ amazing والله انتوا اللي يو ار amazing برافو طيب نمبر 3 a word that describes the show makers meal ايه هي؟ delicious very good ممتازين يا جريد 5 let's move to exercise 4 I want you to think هنفكر احنا مع نفسنا How do these words help you to understand the story? Check if you agree. أنا عندي هنا اختيارين يا جريد 5. الاختيارين دول بيتكلموا على ال adjectives. فهو عايز يعرف مني في البوك بيسألني سؤال إزاي ال words اللي هي ال adjectives دي ساعدتني إني أفهم ال story أو أضافت إيه من ال story. تعالوا نشوف مع بعض ال two. Sentences ونشوف إحنا موافقين على إيه أول حاجة The adjectives give more details وكلمة details يعني تفاصيل يعني أنا لما بستخدم adjectives عشان أوصف حاجة بدي تفاصيل أكتر Do you agree or not? استنوا بقى عشان أجيب الماركر Do you agree or not? Very good فعلا يا أولاد It's okay ليه؟ لأني كل ما استخدم adjectives أكتر بعرفك تفاصيل أكتر يعني إحنا قلنا Uh, delicious, all beautiful, all amazing. هتلاقي adjectives كتير وكل ما بتستخدمها كل ما التفاصيل بتاعتي بتبقى واضحة أكتر. طب number two, the adjectives make the story interesting. ممتعة كده وجميلة. Very good. أنا كمان I agree. So we agree to both of these sentences. ممتازين يا yeah, great five. تقدر تتابع كل دروسك على تطبيق مدرستنا بلس مدرستنا المستقبل يبدأ الآن